Hi friends, this video we are going to see about gradient of a scalar point function. Scalar point function means nothing but each point in the domain we allot to a some scalar value that is called scalar point function. That field is called scalar value, scalar field. Okay, example of the scalar field is temperature is the scalar value and the pressure is the scalar value. Okay. So, example of the scalar value is temperature and let f of x comma y comma ez be a scalar valued function. Scalar value, scalar point function, we assume that scalar point function that is the scalar point function now on region or for a region region r so i assume that let f be a scalar point function on the region r now next is i am going to talk about what is the level surface Suppose I take it as f of x comma y comma z equal to c. Here c is the constant. So then it's become it is only a z is the independent variable. It's dependent variable x and y are independent variable. You can write it as so you can form the some surfaces. That is, if you are changing the c. You will get the family of surfaces. So, it constitutes constitutes yep family of. surfaces these surfaces known as known as level surface So I will find that. So I have the one scalar point function on R, and that I equal to some C. It will get us some surfaces. These surfaces is called level surfaces. Now I am going to define a del operator. So del operator define as. So this is the Greek letter del. Operator is defined as it's a I cap do by do x plus j cap do by do y plus k cap do by do e z. Right? So is called is called the vector differential operator. Del or Nabla. Okay, so this is the operator we felt that, and suppose I already say that so del f become so it's a vector quantity. So some people they cost is a vector also they will get. The very simply denote as a del. This both are same fine only. So del f equal to suppose f is a scalar valued function, but we get it as do f by do x i cap plus do f by do y plus such so j cap do f by do 
OEZ times K cap. This is called gradient of a vector scalar point function. This is known as the so this is known as the is known as gradient of scalar point function for a region region r okay so this is the gradient so gradient is nothing but this is if you want to take the partial derivative with respect to x times i cap plus partial derivative with respect to y times j cap plus partial derivative with respect to z and k cap. So what is the geometrically means? Okay. So we are giving. So we are giving something. What is the geometrically meaning? Okay. Now, so f of x comma y comma z equal to surface. Now you take it. We know that level surface. That is f of x comma y comma c is the level surface. So I will take here some curve or arbitrary curve. I take it. So it is the then each point. It's a suppose I take the curve r vector of t in a level surface. Level surface. That is, we take it as f of x comma y comma z equal to some c1 i fix it okay then it's a position vector of the so level surface i will take it next i will take it that this is my level surface i will take the d so now here r, r of t is defined as r of t is nothing but x of t i cap plus y of t times j cap plus z of t times k cap. So, your input variables are only t that is the n t is the only independent variable x and y and z are dependent variables. So, that way only the curve you are seeing. So, we write the parameter from the curve or of the vectors. Okay. Now, this is a basically a question that if you are choosing your particular point it will use like that. Okay. Now, so then this curve I can write it in the level surface because I r of t is in the level surface. So, I can write the f of x of t, comma y of t, comma z of t. Correct? Suppose I have the surface on this line, I can take it this way. Correct? Equal to c1. I know now I want to take the derivative on both sides. So, what is df by dt equal to 0? Because I take the both sides. C is a constant. I already know that C one is a constant. I take the derivative with respect to time t, it becomes zero. Next, I so now I want to evaluate the df by dt. So I know that this is a total derivative formula. This is left hand side. What will comes? Do f by do x times dx by dt plus do f by do y times dy by dt plus do f by do z times dz by dt equal to equal to because from my radical side is 0. So, this guy is 0. So, I can rewrite this guy as do f by do x i cap plus do f by do y j cap plus do f by do z k cap with dot product with dot product is what I can take this dx by dt i cap plus dy by dt j cap 
dHz by dt k cap equal to 0. Correct? Now, you look, this is the first term. This guy is nothing but your variant of f. Correct? So, this is the some curve. I want to take, take the derivative with respect to time. It is a some tangent. So, tangent vector. So, gradient f vector dot t vector equal to 0. So, it is not a t cap, so t vector. t is a tangent vector. This implies. So, this meaning is the gradient f is orthogonal to tangent vector. So, this implies gradient f is normal to the normal to the curve R of t. But you look here, what I take it R of t is a, I am arbitrarily I am choosing, R of t is not a fixed one, R of t is a arbitrary curve. So, this implies any curve in the level surface f of x comma y comma c is perpendicular. So, this implies the gradient f is normal to the surface f of x comma y comma z equal to c1. So, not only the c1, you can change any gradient of c, it becomes any, if you change the different different of surface also, the gradient f is always normal, ok. So, this video we are given the geometric meaning of the gradient. Thank you for watching this video. If you suppose you like this video, please share with your friends.